Morning, beloved. Uh, this morning, our devotional is from 1 Samuel uh, chapter 9, verses 14 to 16. The Word of God says, They went up to the town, and as they were entering it, there was Samuel coming towards them court coming toward them on his way up to the high place now the day before Saul came the Lord had revealed this to Samuel about this time tomorrow I will send you a man from the land of Benjamin anoint him ruler over my people Israel he will deliver them from the hand of the Philistines I have looked on my people for their cry has reached me let us pray dear Heavenly Father Lord we pray that you would add your blessing to this reading of your word now Father help us to hear and help us to obey you. Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, uh, you know, uh, beloved, we have had the perspective of uh, Saul for quite a few devotionals. I want to switch to the perspective of Samuel. Samuel, who was heartbroken when the people uh, demanded a king. Samuel, who had ruled uh, well, and then his children had not done the way they were supposed to. Samuel, who still, in the face of rejection, served God. And now, that thing he feared has come upon him. Saul and his servant enter the city, and they are looking for Samuel. And uh, as they went up to the town, as they were entering it, there was Samuel coming toward them on his way to the high place. Samuel was going to serve the Lord and uh, serve the people. You know, listen, we've got to understand, Samuel uh, had ruled as, as the, uh, in fact, the, the religious uh, and really civil authority uh, over Israel, and he had done it well. He had, he had been a, a very great man of God and had done great things, and then they rejected uh, the idea of uh, having a prophet or a seer rule over them and in fact the people of Israel wanted a king let us have a king like all the other nations and and he was heartbroken and yet he didn't stop serving and that's our first thing that we need to understand regardless of what other people do or how other people react we are called to serve God beloved uh, of course uh, we have uh, rejection and of course we have people that give us a hard time and of course we have uh, situations that come up but we are still called to serve God. Continue. Uh, just uh, as a really, just so you know, uh, I was talking to uh, another pastor, um, and uh, we were we were talking, and and it it just came up that he was having a hard time at his church, but he was persisting. They really wanted him to to be gone, uh, but he wouldn't. He wouldn't leave. He said, this is where God called me. Until God tells me to go somewhere else, I'm going to continue. They, they give me a hard time, and, and they were not supporting me very well, but I'm going to continue serving God. That's the commitment that we need. It's not what other people do. It's what God does with us as we serve faithfully. In verse 15, now the day before Saul came, the Lord had revealed to Samuel, About this time tomorrow I will send you a man from the land of Benjamin. Anoint him ruler over my people Israel. He will deliver them from the hand of the Philistines. I have looked on my people, for their cry has reached me. I will send a man to you, and you are to anoint him king. And you are to uh, make this person, this thing which you had dreaded, which broke your heart, which you cried out to me about, God says, is going to happen. And tomorrow you need to do it. And Samuel is going out, and as surely as the word of God is true in every way, Saul is approaching. And he looks out and he sees him. Beloved, we need to serve God. It doesn't matter what other people do, what other people say, how things go. Those things do not matter. What matters is our heart to serve God. Will we continue with God? We've probably all lost friends uh, because of disputes that should never have happened, whether you were right or wrong, whether you should have, have abandoned that person uh, or that person abandoned you. We've all been hurt, but we have to continue serving God. 
To reject God is no answer. We need to follow the example of Samuel. Samuel didn't go, God, I won't do it. He didn't do like Jonah, sit down and say, I'm not going to. I'm going to go the opposite way. When he went and proclaimed deliverance to Nineveh, they, they repented. When he, when he went and proclaimed destruction to Nineveh, they repented and God relented. And he sat down and was very angry. Let's not be that way. Let's follow the example of Samuel, beloved, who did not reject what God said. And we'll see tomorrow that instead he clings faithfully to the Word of God. May God bless you as you go about your day.